The following video will show you how to load new firmware onto your camera and adjust the settings to get the highest quality without sacrificing reliability. Please remember to rate the video, leave comments below, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like it. The latest version of P-Tools will allow you to increase the bitrate of your camera, use up to ISO 12800 for videos, use very accurate continuous autofocus, and still maintain all of the reliability of a stock camera. The intent of this video is to show first-time users of P-Tool how to load settings that are completely stable and will not affect the reliability of your camera. There are much more extreme settings that are only reliable with the fastest, most expensive memory cards. I recommend starting with the settings shown in the video and then increasing the settings only if you find issues that you think a higher bitrate will solve and if you have a memory card that can support those settings. Most of the more popular extreme settings will produce very high total bit rates. However, they suffer from isolated sections of extremely low bit rates. In these cases, the settings actually hurt the quality more than they help, and they can completely eliminate reliability. The no adverse effects settings will always yield a very even and very stable bit rate throughout the entire clip. The first thing you need to do is download the new version 1.1 firmware from Panasonic's website. All of the URLs you will need are in the description for this video. Next, you need to download the latest version of the P-Tool program. Finally, you need to download the latest no adverse effects settings.ini file, which offers the highest quality while maintaining reliability with an any memory card. Once you have the files, you can unzip them into the same directory. Then just run the P-Tool program and open the version 1.1 gh2 double underscore v11 dot Bin file. Click on the green settings button that corresponds to the .ini file that you downloaded. The current no adverse effects settings use the J button. Clicking on the J button will load the settings. If you forget to click the button, then no updates to your camera settings will be made. Next, just click Save Firmware and save the firmware with a number higher than V11. Finally, copy that firmware file to the root of your camera's SD card. Make sure that you have a fully charged battery. Start the camera and press the play button without doing anything else. Select yes to install the firmware and put the camera down. It is critical that you do not touch the camera at all while it is updating the firmware. It could permanently damage your camera. Once the firmware has loaded, I usually restart the camera and reformat the memory card in the camera. However, that is not required. You can now enjoy all the benefits of a higher bitrate without any of the hassles of having your camera crash on you.